Okay, so this will be a quick tutorial on how to sync and like merge your add-ons folders between uh, versions that have uh, workshop support. Because um, normally, uh, say you have a bunch of add-ons you subscribe to in the Steam Workshop, uh, you know, obviously the game downloads those to the workshop folder and the add-ons folder for your game. Uh, but the two of the old versions that we host, uh, 2147 and 2203, both have workshop support. So basically what ends up happening is uh, when you launch these versions, it'll re-download all of this workshop content and uh, waste a ton of space. Um, so basically I'm going to show how to basically sync the, uh, the folders between these. Uh, so basically, uh, to start... Uh, you're going to want to, uh, well, no. To start, you're going to want to go to this website here. I'm going to link in the description. You can just Google Link Shell Extension. Uh, it'll be the first thing that comes up. Uh, come down to the download here, and then get the uh, All Windows 64. Uh, now, I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed. Oh, I just clicked on it. Nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's really simple. You might need to reset your computer after you uh, install for it to work, but basically... Uh, you'll know it's working if you right-click on a folder and uh, you have pick link source as an option. Uh, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, your newest version of the game. So if you don't know how to find that, uh, you go to properties in here in the Steam library. Uh, go to local files, browse, and it'll bring you to uh, the folder. Um, so basically then from here, you'll want to go click on Left 4 Dead 2 and then add-ons here is what you want. So you're going to do, uh, pick link source. So you right click on and then do pick link source. Um, and then you're going to go to say, for example, uh, 2147, uh, and then in here, uh, so you'll have an add-ons folder already. Delete that, um, completely. And then uh, right, just right click in this open space and then go to drop as and then do junction. And then now uh, when I click on add ons, it's going to bring me to my add ons folder for my newest version of the game. Uh, and to like the game, it's just going to look like as if this folder was here. Um, and you can d do this for, you know, uh, 2203 as well. Um, so yeah, that, it's the same, you know, process. Uh, and, addi and additionally, uh, while this isn't necessary and probably isn't really a good idea anyways, um, cause I, I would imagine for most people you'd want to have add-ons enabled for newest cause you're playing casually and then not have them enabled for speedrunning versions because that's illegal. Um, but basically, uh, you can sync the add-on like uh, the list of which add-ons are enabled and disabled by just uh, finding the add-on list, a text folder, sorry, file, uh, right-clicking on it, uh, pick link source, and then in here, uh, in the, you know, the same folder of, you know, the version, you want to uh, do it in, you just drop it as a symbolic link. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I already have it, although I don't use it because, again, you don't want to have them synced. Um, but yeah, that that's basically it. Um, uh, the only thing I would like to point out is, as far as the folder goes, I don't know if technically, um, if uh, a junction or a symbolic link is better for a folder. Um, from the Googling that I did some time ago, like, the conclusion was hard link, but I don't quite remember at this point. And ultimately, like, either one should work for the folder. Um, but yeah, that that's basically it. Uh.